Hello everyone, Pat Fairby here. Uh, I'm not going to point out any specific names in this video, but uh, I have been seeing a rather disturbing argument being used against racists and homophobes here on YouTube. Um, and I'd like to point out why I think this argument is bad and should be avoided. Um, the argument goes something along the lines of, it's not their choice. Um, whatever group it is that they're talking about, let's, let's pick homosexuals as an example. Um, homosexuals are born gay, which is obviously true. They don't have a choice in the matter, it's obviously true. And you shouldn't judge them based on how they were born, how they were made. Which again is obviously true. Now, the problem with this argument is let's take it to the next logical step. Okay, so let's go through the argument again and then we'll continue it. Um, homosexuality is biological. It is not a choice. So you can't judge someone because they're homosexual. But if it were a choice and not biological, then... Okay, do you see where I'm going with this? Um, what, you, what happens when you make this argument is you are, are granting to the bigot that the state that they're arguing against is by nature inferior or unpreferable to the state that they're arguing for. So by saying that you can't blame a homosexual for being gay just because they were born that way, you're saying that if they had a choice then obviously they would choose not to be gay. Okay? So, what arguments should we be using? Well, I think we should focus more on the rightful assertion that these states of being that the bigots are so up in arms about are not judgment criteria at all. Uh, the, the color of one's skin, the shape of one's brow, the, the ethnic background of a person makes that person no more or less inferior or superior than anyone else. Period. Um, what two or more consenting adults do to or with each other in a sexual context is no one's business. Period. Um, I think that when we try to elaborate on that and try to find other sorts of, uh, of justification for that state of being, we are, again, agreeing with the person that the state of being needs justification in the first place, which I don't think it does. Um, but anyway, that's just my two cents on it. Uh, hopefully, uh, you understand where I'm coming from there. Uh, anyway, take care. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.